I am back with another hair salon vlog. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Leah Toshie. Welcome. And in today's video, I am back with another hair salon vlog. Okay, so today is Thursday, November 5th at 7.45 a.m. And today I am getting my hair done. It's been about three months since I got my hair done. I did vlog the last one. So if you haven't watched that, definitely go watch it because in that video, you see my hair go from like a brown to a more honey blonde color. And in that video, I explain a little bit more about like my hair history and stuff. But basically my hair has been jet black like almost my whole life from box dye. So it has been a year and about, I wanna say four sessions to get my hair from box dyed jet black hair to this, which as you can tell, is still not exactly blonde. Here, I'll put it in front so you can see a little bit better. My hair looks disgusting right now because it's so dirty, but obviously I didn't want to wash it right before I'm going to the salon to get it done. <laughs> but this is my hair now after like, I want to say three or four lightning sessions or balayage sessions. So the front pieces are a little bit lighter. There's a lot of dimension and some of the pieces are a lot lighter and then the other pieces are still darker. The underneath is still dark. And then I would say from somewhere around here and down still has that previous black box eye on it. And then like from here to maybe like somewhere around here is new growth hair. But today I'm making a major change. In my opinion, it's a major change, but I'm not even going to tell you you guys what it is right now. My appointment is at 10, but it's in Dallas and I'm about 45 minutes from Dallas. So I need to leave in maybe like a little over an hour. My appointments usually take like four or five hours. So I always come prepared. I have my water, obviously we'll be wearing masks and stuff, but I did bring snacks because I always get hungry. Like I can't sit somewhere for four hours and not get hungry. The salon I go to is the Mod Lab in Dallas. If you're familiar, they have a Dallas and an Arlington location. And when I tell you, I have been like waiting for this appointment for what feels like so freaking long, but I chose today to do it because my birthday is on Monday and I wanted it done right before my birthday, which brings me to the stylist I'm going to today. I do usually go to the Arlington location and I go to Alyssa. I'll put her Instagram on here or in the description box, but I usually go to her and I absolutely love her, but she is now on maternity leave. She just had a baby like a week ago. So I am going to Diana and she works at the Dallas location, not the Arlington location. And I love her work too. Honestly, I would go to any person at either of their locations. They're all so good and so talented. They know what the hell they're doing. So I'm going to Diana. I haven't seen her before, but we have followed each other on Instagram for a really long time. And I've seen her at the salons before. She's super sweet. I'm nervous, but just for the change, I'm not nervous for like, if it's gonna turn out good really, because honestly, no one goes into that salon and leaves with not good hair. It's just not their thing. It's just not possible. But I think that's everything I needed to tell you guys and catch you up on. Before we head to the salon, well, I'm not heading there for like another hour, but before I see you guys at the salon, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Follow me on Instagram, especially because, I mean, you guys will see the final result at the end of this video, but I'm gonna reveal the photos of my new hair and everything on my Instagram on my birthday, so on Monday. So yeah, subscribe, follow, Instagram, YouTube, all the things. And I will see you guys at the salon. So I'm not going to be talking this entire time while she's doing my hair, but I just wanted to explain some of the things that we're doing or that she's doing. So the first thing she did was cut off most of the length that we wanted to get rid of. We didn't cut it to the length that we're going to end up with, but we wanted to cut majority of it off first because it doesn't make sense to color all of that hair just to cut it off at the end because that would be a waste of time and a waste of product and product that I would have to pay for again just to cut it off. So we did cut off majority of the hair first um, and then we started coloring. We 
ended up doing a very, very full, full packed in highlight. During the consultation, she did ask me a lot of questions about what tones and colors I wanted and what level of lightness and everything and whether I wanted to keep more dimension and keep some of the dark pieces I had or if I wanted more lightness all over. And I did say I wanted more lightness all over. So again, she did a full, full highlight and packed in a ton of foils. And it took a very, very long time just because she did have to go through and like weave out the darker pieces and make sure those got light enough. Um, and then again, I have so, so much hair to get through to do all of that. So I don't remember exactly how long it took to foil, but it definitely took maybe a couple hours. But yeah, she does use a very low volume to just help keep the integrity of the hair and to prevent any damage to the hair. And then also because it does take my hair so long to foil, obviously it's gonna be sitting on my hair for quite some time and you don't want to use too high of a volume because that will cause breakage and cause your hair to be damaged. So she was so good and made sure that everything she did was safe for my hair. She also did ask me a lot of questions about like how my hair reacted to the bleach at previous appointments. And again, what products I used and what kind of heat I used on my hair and everything like that, just to make sure that she was going in with an approach that would be safest for my hair and still give me the results that I wanted. After finishing highlighting and everything, rinsing everything out and toning, um, we did go ahead and finish the haircut. I did want to mention too that at the Mod Lab, they do use Olaplex and then they use Kevin Murphy products and Unite products. I absolutely love the products that they use. They're high quality and they really work well for my hair. Um, but here she's just putting in the Unite 7 Seconds Detangling Leave-In Conditioner, which I do use at home as well. And then she went in with some other Unite products that I don't use, but I believe one was an oil um, and then like a heat protectant. But yeah, after detangling and everything, then she went in and cut it to the length that we talked about. And you guys will see what we decided to do. So I'm blonde and I cut all my hair off and I'm obsessed with it. It's actually the next day because you guys, I never really know how long my appointments are gonna be. I just have so, so, so much hair that it usually takes people a really long time to do my hair in general, especially if we're doing a balayage or highlights or whatever and like foiling, it's like so much hair that they have to get through on top of processing, toning, blow drying alone, my hair takes forever. But I was at the salon yesterday for like seven hours. So by the time I got home, it was dark outside. So it is the next morning and this is my new hair. Let me know what you guys think. Um, but I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions about what we did. As far as the color formula, I actually don't 
know. But if you want to follow Alyssa, who I usually see for like the formula of my hair when it was like a little bit darker, um, or if you want to follow Diana on Instagram and ask them, they're super sweet. I'm sure they'd be happy to tell you. But I do have some information on like what we did and I'll put up some pictures of kind of what I showed her. Before my appointment, she just had me gather some photos of what I wanted and what I liked and pictures of what I didn't like. And she did a very thorough consultation with me at the beginning. She asked me so many questions just about like what products I use in my hair, how often I put heat on my hair, when I put heat on my hair, like what heat tools do I use? All kinds of questions, very thorough, which I appreciate because that's how you're gonna get what you want. If Unless you and the stylist are on the same page, it might not come out how you want it. So we did a very thorough consultation and we did do a full highlight and then haircut. Again, I don't know like exactly what shades she used, but I'm pretty sure that they do use Wella color and then blonde or bleach. I don't, I think that's right. <laughs> But yeah, this is my new hair. I mean, I hope you guys like it, but I am obsessed with it. I love it. I kind of feel more myself and just more grown in a sense. Like I feel like I look like I'm turning 30 and not turning like 22, which I feel like I'm 22, but I just feel more mature with this hair and in a good way. And I absolutely freaking love it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely go follow me on Instagram because I am gonna be posting a really fun reel that I was really excited to make with my like hair transformation and obviously photos revealing my hair on my birthday. So go follow me and show me some love on those posts. Let me know that my YouTube channel sent you. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.